Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com. I woke up this morning to this email uh, via 23andMe from another 23andMe customer who is inviting me to connect. Now, to be honest, I'd forgotten about this 23andMe functionality about invites. I think it's maybe at least two years since I sent an invite or perhaps received an invite and I've forgotten how it works. And the implications being that if I accept the connection, we can view and compare one another's full names and ancestry reports. You will also see your predicted genetic relationship. <laughs> Please consider that this may lead to surprising information. This is what gave me pause. If you choose to also share your health results, your connection will be able to view your detailed health treated, blah, 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 blah. That's not something that I'd like to do, but I can't remember what settings I have in 23andMe about these health reports because I just don't look at them. Before I view the invitation, I think I want to edit my connection settings. So that's taken me to this page. And okay, so there's the sharing levels. And here's where I'm choosing whether it's health plus ancestry or just ancestry. That's good, that's very clear. What if I just click this button? Okay, on the view invitation, click the invitation. And here I'm seeing the details of this individual email based in the United States. So this is a fifth cousin, 11 cent more. It's quite distant. I wonder why this individual wants to connect with me at fifth cousin level. Oh, now this gets interesting. And now I am interested. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that this individual hasn't put down any family surname, but she is recognizing, presumably, is my African heritage. 99% of my DNA matches have a percentage of Irish ethnicity, and, but this lady has put down that her background, both maternal and paternal grandparents' birthplace, is Trinidad and Tobago. That is interesting. Suddenly now I'm interested. It's just rare for me. So if I come down here to the ancestry composition, as you can see I'm coming down at, oh, okay. So I'm split. You see my 50-50 split between maternal, European, and the 50% kind of, it's Ugandan. She's zero for zero. She's 100% Central and South Asian. This ancestry composition, this ethnicity can be very misleading. You know, I don't put a huge amount of stock into ethnicity reports from any of the companies. And at a broad continental level, they tend to be reasonable. Yeah, I'm, I'm fascinated. So I would like to understand more. Find relatives in common. Let me look at the relatives in common. Do we have none or do it mean I have to share? Okay, so that's a little bit of background checking, and I'm quite, quite happy to accept this person's request. I just want to be sure that I'm only giving the ancestry. I'll click accept here. At this point, now connected. We're now seeing each other's ancestry results with ancestry highlighted, so I'm assuming that we can't see each other's health results. Does that give me any more information by sharing? So I'll, I'll send the lady a message. So, just send off that message, and we'll see what. We see. If she's an adopted adult, I mean, she didn't put in any names in her profile. So I put in family surnames here, and she has not, although she's filled in the first places. Possible that if she's an adopted adult, that she's actually tested everywhere. Let me pull up Ancestry and see if she may have tested on Ancestry. I'd be just interested to see an ethnicity breakdown there as well. So if we go to DNA, view all DNA matches. And now I'm going to look for match name. I'll just put in her first name here and do a search. No match is found. Now that doesn't mean that she isn't here. And I don't really trust um, like Ancestry search. This particular search feature isn't great. <laughs> the other hope is you may have transferred to my heritage. I trusted my heritage search a little bit more than I trust the Ancestry one. But for surname search, I mean, they're uh, the record search is, you know, it's fine. It's just that DNA match search functionality isn't always great. Okay, so I'm on the DNA matches. I'm now going to do a search here. Put in our first name, uh, uh, surname. I remember rightly, okay, so I, what I can also do, I can do a filter by ethnicity. Try Central Asian 2, which is neither of that lady. So they've got Central Asian, what about South Asian? A few more people, nope. 
Okay, so that was basically viewing an invite and doing a little bit of background research before um, I accept it. And I'd be fascinated to learn what this lady, if this lady has any insights as to how we might be connected. So I struck out on ancestry and my heritage. That doesn't mean that she isn't there. So I'll wait and see if she comes back to me with some interesting insights. I'll ask her if she's tested elsewhere and if she's tested in GEDmatch. I'd be very interested on getting her GEDmatch kit number. That means I could do a bit of a deeper dive into our comparisons.